As you can see, this document contains two graphics and a table. I'm going to increase the functionality of the document by adding labels to the graphics and to the table. So what I need to do is to go to the References tab and then make certain that I can see the Insert Captions command in the Captions group. So what I need to do is to click at the bottom right hand corner of the first graphic and press the Enter key. And then when I choose Insert Caption, I can see that Word suggests Figure 1. I'll type a space and this is a British Airways aircraft, so let's just type the label British Airways and I notice also that I can choose my own numbering system. I'm happy to leave it as 123, although there are others I can use. I'm happy with the 123. So now when I click OK and OK again, I see that my caption appears. I'll do the same with the Tiger Air aircraft by clicking at the bottom right hand corner and pressing enter and choosing insert caption. This time Word knows that this is the second figure so it makes it figure two. I'll type a space and Tiger Air which is the name of the of the aircraft. Uh, I'll choose the same numbering system uh, that I did before and when I click OK there I see that my caption is added for figure number two. Now we can look at labeling a table. I suggest when you add a label to a table that you add it above the table. So when we click above the table we see the flashing insertion point that is where the label will be inserted. The reason for this is that tables can be quite long and uh, you don't really want the, the label at the bottom of a very long table. And it's generally accepted that the labels will be added above. So what we now do, having chosen our insertion point, we click insert caption, but this time it's not figure number three. The label will be for a table. And again, uh, we can choose the numbering system, same numbering system, and let's click uh, OK after we perhaps add a label up the top here, we'll say aircraft. And now when I click OK, there is my label for the table, table one. If I had a second table, further down in the document, it will be automatically labelled as Table 2. One of the major advantages of using tables and figures in a Word document is that you can summarise the uh, tables and figures uh, in a page in your document. This would normally be done near the bottom page, so I'm down here on page 2 of my particular document, and I'm going to insert a table of figures. And I see here that by default, it comes up as table. If I want the table first, that's fine. So I simply click OK, and I see there is my uh, summary of the aircraft. It's on page number one. I'll just go down a couple of, pa a couple of lines, and this time I want to insert a table of figures. So I want to make certain that the caption label is for the figures here. And when I click OK, do you want to replace the selected table of figures? The answer is no. So it shows me now the uh, aircraft. And if, if I hold down the control key and click on, the, uh, on, on a particular line, it takes me... Uh, directly to that area in the document. So let's do that. Hold our control, click on British Airways, and there it takes me up to the uh, area with the British Airways. So that's how we use the uh, 
uh, captions for figures and labels. It certainly increases, as I mentioned earlier, the functionality of your document. It makes it uh, much more easy for uh, readers to understand what you're getting at with the uh, uh, particular figures. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell, unless you've already done so. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.